everyone. It's Colin, your favourite uh, blind sportsman from Reading, Berkshire, England. Just want to say this. In the background, it's Mick Hucknall, Simply Red. It's Only Love. It's from my very first CD I bought of, of Mick and the, t and, the band, and the band. It's called A New Flame. What a fantastic song. Right, it'd be just right for this inspiration. Mick Hucknall is an amazing man, amazing singer. He's brilliant. I like Mick Hucknall and Simply Red. Right, here we go. Right, today. There is no such thing as you can't play golf. There is no such thing as you can't play sport. In my book, there's no such thing at all like that. Because sooner or later you will find you have the will to win when you play golf or sport. Just attempting something, attempting a sport, is just amazing. Because when you attempt, you graduate, it's like going to school, you graduate. You don't, you don't just sit there and let your coach do all the talking. He asks you questions, you answer back. And you, you talk to him as if you're friends. Well, you are friends. You're a partnership. You're a golfing partnership. When you stand on that tee in the morning or in the evening or in the afternoon, depends where you are in the world. You hit the ball on the range, you hit a few balls on the range and you um, get into the life of the day, of the afternoon or so on. You take your time. That's fine. Don't rush it. When you're on the course, it's different. When you're on the range, you concentrate on doing it right. Because when you do it right on the range, you will do it right on the course. So just stand there and think to yourself, the shot I'm gonna take now, what I'm gonna take. Bring your club round behind you and right down by the side of your right knee. It will make contact with the ball on the outside. And I guarantee it will go straight. There are so many things in golf, we don't know yet. Well, I don't know yet, but I'm learning. Different shots, different ways of doing shots. That's how, you, that's how we learn. So when you stand on that course, today, tomorrow, or whenever, just remember this. Golf is a game for everyone. It doesn't mean it's for the particular person. It's not, it's for everyone. I would have never have found my talent if I had never played golf. It would have been still laying dormant inside. Because when you hit a few balls and you hit them straight and true, then it's down to you. Because your talent comes out. When you make that shot, you never make the mistake again because you concentrate on that shot. You don't wave your club around when you, when you take your shot because you will shank it you will not do any good so stand on that tee and think about the shot because when I get to the tee I always know what shot I'm going to do and where it's going to land it's like a second sense it's called freedom it's called freedom of the course I have so many friends all over the world in golf shops golf shops and um, in golf courses, golf clubs. And they say I inspire them too. What I am doing is, do is so good for golf and sport because I'm putting it out right out there on the front line. Because if you do that, other people will see it. And other people will take part. Other people will take part and make a start. My friends say they've been approached by other people that said, you're amazing, I'm amazing, and inspiration. But I wouldn't have gotten inspiration without you. Because you're amazing people. You believe in me. You believe in everything I do. And I'm so proud of you. I have so many friends in America. Uh, we have Sherry, we have Crystal Yates. Crystal Yates is amazing. 
you know, all the country and west on the country stars are my friends. And I have stars in racing who are my friends, jockeys, and um, other people too, like runners and cyclists. They all support me. It's amazing. But I can tell you now, I am a star waiting to happen. I've been told I'm a star already, but you're not a star until you hit the ball real cool. I can hit the ball real cool, but someday I'll be a star. And all this, all this about when you stand on the tee, you'll miss the ball and feel, no, nah, that's rubbish. When you stand on the tee, you stand there and you find you get the will to win. It's the strongest feeling in your body, the will to win. You never, you never lose it. When you hit the perfect shot, you've got the lot. So everybody, go and try playing golf on the tee, like me. Now we come to sport. I suppose people say to themselves, I'm so and so age, I cannot run now and all this lot and, and rubbish. But how do you know if you don't try? How do you know I'm in my fifth, I'm 58 now and I'm running as well as I can, well I can be and even getting better with my, with my uh, helper? How do we know if we don't try? If we don't try, we'll never know. All you have to do is stand on, that, on the starting line of life and run your race. You don't have to be like Usain Bolt. You just carry on as you can. You go around that track, you feel good. You feel excellent. You feel part of life again. You can hear the birds, you can hear the trees whistling in the background. This is what life is. This is our life. No one can put a, a doubt in our minds about our own life. Because our life is our, our, day, our life. Every single day is our life. So live your life. Don't worry about anybody else, what anybody else says. Live your life in, for, in sport and golf. Because when you do, you'll feel amazing too. So when you, the thing is for this part of it, the sport as well. I never thought to myself I could run a race like I did at Palmer Park. I never thought about that. I've never done a mile before in a race or anything. Well, I did, I did that triathlon, yeah. That was all right, I did well there. But I tell you what, the Palmer Park one was amazing. I arrived at the track with my coach, my helper, and a friend. We went there and we talked. There were people from Scotland, all over the place, um, Northern Ireland, Wales, everywhere. Portsmouth, uh, Derby, Nottinghamshire, Middlesbrough, Leeds, from everywhere. And immediately when you start talking to them, they start talking to you. I'm good with friends, with friendship. I can talk to them and the next minute they're like friends. That's what we should have in this world. Talk, talk to each other. And then you get friendship. We don't get anywhere by not talking in this world. It's like golf, golf is it? is a friendship game. The friendship game of golf, that's what I call it, my friendship. Back to the sport. The sport is an amazing thing. Because when I get on the cycle, the tandem cycle, I know I've said this before, but it's true. There are so many, so many things around. I have no vision, yes, but I have I've had hearing. Hearing and feeling. Feeling the handlebars in front handlebar in front. You don't use that handlebar, you just balance and the man in front does the work. Bowman said that, I am the engine room. You go along and it's like, it's like real life. Well it is real life. It's back to life. 
all the problems I've had with my eyes and you know it pains into insignificance I'll try and get that word right insignificancy when I get on a bike with my helper and it's like having um, John Motson on the front because he tells me everything like in sport and football a great commentator he is amazing my helper at the front he says the warden's just come round in his car in his van you know great west great um, Windsor warden and people are in front of us I can hear the people from a mile off talking about this and that and the other what they got to do with the day and they stand at the bus stop and think like, oh yeah we got to get the bus and all that and then oh would you like to go there would you like to go here it's amazing your hearing takes over your hearing is like stereo and when you go through through the country lanes you can hear so much planes going over you can hear cars you can hear uh, tractors in the fields you can hear polo ponies that's what I did we went down past the polo place at Windsor and you hear them running around it's amazing hearing is amazing when you lose your sight hearing is the only thing you've got but I'm not I'm not I don't blame anybody this is this is life I was made to, I was born to do this I was born to be free I was born to do things for people. I was born to inspire people. That's how I feel. And all these people that say, um, well, you know, can you can you bowl? Can you do this? Can you? Yes, I can. When they ask me that question, I say, yes, I can. And they say afterwards, it's amazing. Because they couldn't, I can, and they can see. We have so much in this world to live for, so much. Every single part of my life on the, on the golf course, on the sports, is awesome. I never moan, what do you moan for? Moaning is for people who won't moan to catch a bus or something like that, and that's ridiculous. We never moan, I never moan. Because I go there, and when I play golf, it's like a haven. A haven away of the light, a haven away from life. From outside the gates of the golf course, we're inside, and that is our haven. I want to get back to the thing as I was on the cycling, going up and down the street, going down places like that and around. And you, all the people, you can hear cyclists behind you. And when we when we get off the cycles at the end of the race, sorry, end of the run. Our coach tells us what we've done. 15 miles in one hour and 20 minutes. That is pure magic to my ears. Do you know what? I've lost over a stone this year in cycling and running and bowls and golf. And I feel so better for it. People call me, it's so funny, they say, that young man, let him pass. The young man, I'm 58, I think to myself. They're so nice, people. And these old ladies, they would say, you know, the ladies, she say old ladies, but old ladies, yeah. They said to me, you could pass if you want to, love. And I go, oh, thank you very much, with my helper. And they're so kind. When you have a helper like mine, it's amazing. At the bowls, at golf, at cycling, at running. They are amazing people because they help me do what I want to do. And they put life into your own hands. On the tee, I play golf, yes. When I stand on the tee, I get my inspiration, everything else, but I also get my independence. I am the one who takes the shot. I can hit it straight or hit it nowhere. So this has been Inspiration 36, it's quite long, but it tells you so much about me and my sport and my golf. I would love everybody on, on Twitter to contact me and to follow me 
I would love my town of Redden to follow me. I would love to have more of the world, more of the world to follow me too. I have so many so far, but my inspirational light is switched on now and it shines on every person of the world. Every person, because they bring me so much hope when they follow me. And it's, uh, it's about three weeks now until the massive tournament at St. Martin's. I'm so proud. I'm gonna wear my new t-shirt with golf mates written across it. Because golf vlogs is amazing, golf vlog. So if you haven't followed them yet, follow them. And I have Golf Witter and all. Golf Witter, he's amazing. Follow him too. And follow the country stars, and the music stars, and the sports stars. Follow everyone. Because we can do this. We can win the battle. We can win the battle to play sport and golf. We have a battle on our hands, yes, with blindness and other things. But by playing golf, you are, you are taking part in life again and playing sport too. Part of me says I can do all this because of you. Every tweet, every retweet is an amazing thing. So I just want to say this at the end of this video. My heart is full of hope. My heart is full of joy. And you've made my heart feel so special. You are special people in every way. You call me your special person, your special inspiration. But I think you are an inspiration too. Because you never give up like me. I just want to say this at the end. Sherry, you're amazing. You are absolutely amazing. You're a special lady. Keep getting better. And this is for you and for Crystal. Crystal, I heard one of your record, your songs last night. It was amazing. I'm so proud to know you. From a special friend in the UK to a special friend in the US. Thank you so much for what you do for me. You are the voice of country waiting to happen. So follow Crystal, Crystal Yates. Yep. And Sherry Lynn. They're amazing. They are my friends. They're part of my life. They're part of my day. From an inspiration from the UK, Reading, Berkshire, England. This is Colin saying goodbye to the world. See you later on. Bye.